Why hello there my fellow Yodaheimers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Norland Episode 5, One-Eyed Noob Slayer. I'm gonna have Kellyan uh, manage these new production facilities. And then once the Lord Houses are uh, built, I'm gonna fire the workers working as warehouses builders and employ them as like uh, wheat or rye farmers. Great Miss has a trade request. Dead Dodo wants to buy pork. I don't have pork. Sorry, buddy. How many warriors should you aim to have in your settlement? So that very much depends on uh, what's happening in the world. So if you have neighbors, for instance, that are like becoming hostile more than they have, um, 10 to 15 would be a good a good goal to aim for in order to be able to defend your borders once hostilities start to boil over. Uh, but more if, you know, you're getting swarmed. It also depends on the command skills and equipment too. So uh, warriors that are just like naked with weapons are a lot less effective than warriors with heavy armor. So it depends on whether you're making heavy armor and weapons and, and that kind of stuff or whether you're not. So there's a lot of factors that, you know, like that go into that training, skill, equipment. Is there a pop cap? I have no idea. Maybe. All right, there we go. So, with the additional houses, hopefully, no one will be left homeless. Let's get these painted up, just like the other ones. And I think you guys voted on uh, that once I had the houses built, I would uh, I would pivot and go for peasant houses. Or once I had the noble houses and all that. So I'll start to build peasant houses now. So I'll put three peasant houses back there where the farms are. Oh, Kellyan, you have a, an enlightenment of a mill upgrade. Man, you are a smart dude. Kadath, thanks for uh, gifting even more gifted subs. Cheers. And Nia and Dave are back. Oh, I, uh, the raffle. Right. The women of my colony are getting some odd names here. I guess Dave married a grudge bearer. Do I need to kill the wolf? Yeah, I was actually going to use the Grudge Bearer to kill the wolf. Because uh, she has pretty good combat skills. And then Urgle Nurgle, let's have you read the paper workshop. And... Dave, you'll read the pig farm. The rain sound bug? Yeah, the rain finally went away. So this will take a minute. Not a grudge bearer, but the grudge bearer. Yeah, I feel like we should have the grudge bearer go kill Nora. <laughs> 
Like you insulted my husband three years ago. Prepare to die. You eleven fingered slanderer. Well, Kellyan's almost done with uh, the wood economical construction. And then workers have not received instructions for the day of this rye field, but that was just because it was just built. So that's not a. It's not really a problem. There. So taking a look at Kellyan's management, everything has been inspected. Ergerburgle, everything has been inspected. Dave, all two things have been inspected. And Grudge Bearer. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you need a little privacy there. You're bearing a little bit more than just a grudge. Let me know when you're done, because I'm going to have you go kill a wolf. All right, Grudge Bearer. You, with my three warriors, go wolf slaying. Because we got some wolves that are getting close, and I don't want to lose people. So if you lose people, what will end up happening is, like, Peasants will be more hesitant to immigrate because, uh, you know, they don't want to get eaten by wolves. It's weird how they feel that way, but, you know, that's just uh, that's just the needs of the fancy peasantry. Urgle Burgle is pregnant with Kellyanne's child. Okay. I just did send a potentially pregnant woman out to go slay a giant dire wolf, which is maybe like a bad idea, but it worked. Disband. And you're bleeding. And you have ten bruises. And an infected wound. So... Oops. I thought you were better than that. I didn't actually want her to tank, but, you know, whatever. All right, the current priority now is provide food, beer, and housing. That's probably the next best step to make sure that uh, our basic needs are met because we have zero flour, zero beer, and zero moonshine and flavorful ale. So our peasants are not really able to drink very much, which is going to upset them in the long run. So that would be the big... Big next ne next task to uh, to manage. So I'm going to increase the size of our brewery and uh, do the same to the mill to get more milling and more brewing done. Don't forget medical care. Oh, she'll be fine. She's probably already patched up. Yeah, she's no longer bleeding. So another thing that is a little bit different about this game than a lot of others is your farm fields will eventually run out of nutrients in the soil and you need to burn wood in order to replenish the soil. So building up a nice healthy supply of wood for when that happens is important. Just figured I'd mention that. Uh, kind of like potash, but like without the um, without the supply production chain for it, or potash rather, not potash, potash. Kind of like potash, but like you know, just they set up a bunch of uh, it looks like trellises or something on the farm field, and they just torch it. It's a clever game mechanic. Yo, absolutely. I just I, I'm not saying it's a bad one. I'm just saying that you should know about it because um, if you don't have a nice supply of wood when your farm fields need to be replenished, uh, your food income or food supply will like plummet, which isn't so good. Barley can now read, sweet. He's not at the 13 I wanted him at, but um, given that he could read, we could start having him learn books in the library. So, like, Barley, given his name, could start reading the book for hops and beer. 
as a starter. And eventually what you're going to want to do is to train the younger generation all the things that your older generation needs to know. Uh, so that they continue to be able to run the the kingdom properly. Some of the beer or hop fields uh, Kellyan did not manage to administrate yesterday or the day before. so Or the mine. So he was going to run over to the mine. And this is exactly why I want a chancellery and a paper production so that we can avoid um, work stoppages from mismanagement or lack of management. Ooh, a wedding between Grudge Bearer and Dave. Make sure to get an ironclad prenup or the Grudge Bearer might, you know, bear grudges. Okay, now the miners have tasks. Another good thing for me to work towards would be for my to get enough tools made for my workshop to be able to expand the mine. Um, I don't have a workshop, so I probably need one of those first. But my priority was to provide homes for people, and I have absolutely failed at that so far. There's 12 homeless at the moment, so and and six more migrants coming in. Uh, so it's probably going to be a minute before I get, like, tool workshop up and running. You all wanted me to, to focus on, um, to, to focus on housing, so my spare wood is pretty much going to be tied up in that. So I'll upgrade the lumber mill again. So we have two lumber mills. Come on, Killian. Oh, yeah, a little bit of hug. Hug mama. Come on, Kellyan. Whatever you... Oh, you're... What? Where are you? What are you doing? Great. There's a Kellyan and a Killian. That's... All right. Killian, you're going to need to be renamed because that is extraordinarily confusing. So, raffle for Killian. Because there can only be one... Killian. That's a random name. He also showed up, like, near dead. Holy hell. What happened to you, dude? Also, you're 13. And you ridiculed me? Dude, you're off to a bad start. Way bad start. Killian challenged Urgle Burgle to a duel. Really? You're challenging a pregnant woman to a duel? What is wrong with you? And you have a combat of 15? As a coward pacifist? I am so confused about what you think you are. Is there a dead wolf on the map? Yeah. These dead wolf these wolves get left here until they're like burned in your temple. Um so it takes a while. I'm not gonna Oh god, we are dueling. Oh, okay. This seems like a really bad idea. I guess we're going to go to war with their uh, kingdom. Maybe. <laughs> Get wrecked, Killian. Oh, I'm just going to rename you right now. Noob. Oh, did I kill you? Oh, I killed you. <laughs> All right, so we're not raffling off, noob. No one needs to be the dead 13-year-old. Urgerbrogs needed some uh, pretty urgent medical attention. But uh, we are also at war now with Great Mist. Because, you know, we murdered their kid. Their heir to the throne. He had it coming. Yeah, 100%. He showed up and, like... Flip Kelly and the bird, and then challenged Urgle Burgle to a duel. So, honestly, I, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. So, she's withdrawing some um, medicinal salve for herself, so she's no longer bleeding. But she's gonna be in a really bad mood um, and might suffer a. Um, well, one thing I haven't talked about yet is a nervous breakdown. 
So she might suffer a nervous breakdown as a result of that duel. We'll see. Hire some mercs for the war. Alternatively, I could enlist some of my peasantry who aren't doing anything as warriors. Because that's a, that's a way to, to show that mechanic too. So the five immigrants that just came in, I'm going to start training them with Grudge Bearer in the training grounds, readying them for war. So in the priority and prepare for war with, you know, just, just in case it happens. She is, uh, she's getting cheered up a little bit, which is good. Urgle Burgle fears Kellyan. Well, that's not good. After a heartfelt conversation. And you fear him and you're going on a date. Oh, I see. That was a young master vibe, if you've ever seen one. That was, um... That would be as if, uh... Joffrey was murdered by, like, uh... You know... The Starks or something. Right? I would say. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> that would be if Catelyn Stark grabbed a, a spear and was just like, Alright, Joffrey, you're dead. And just killed him. I don't even know what we did with his body. Because there's no, like, burial mechanics yet. Can we eat them? Um, well, I, I I don't think so. That would be interesting, though. Ergo Burgle's mood is definitely going back up, though. So, I guess that's good. Uh, I do have a little bit more wood. I have some homeless. Some of the homeless, actually, I don't think this number is recalculated because we have five of the homeless are now in the barracks. Oh, and if you're wondering why they're moody, they're moody, moody because mostly they have a fear of death. Um, so what ends up happening when you draft peasants is it takes them a while to get over the fact that, like, they could die in battle. Uh, but they'll eventually get over that and uh, and get past that and then not have that giant mood negative modifier of fear of death. So uh, so it's not, it's not something that I need, I need to worry about at the moment. So there's some more uh, peasant housing. Uh, so provide beer, food, housing. So how, how am I doing on that front? Let's see. Zero beer, zero flour, zero moonshine. Everyone's just eating rutabaga. Got it. So uh, I'm sucking a big one is, I would say, a fair assessment. I understand. Some of that is just because we haven't um, milled flour or rye for the day so we've produced a whole lot of it but we just haven't milled it so i suspect our miller millers our three millers will be able to get some work done soon I meant to start preaching doubt because I'm worried about fanatics because currently 53% of us are religious fanatics so let's go ahead and start preaching some doubt. And here's Grudge Bear uh, who will be training the new peasants who are freaked out about bearing arms. But they'll get over it. 
Also, it looks like one person decided to leave the, the kingdom and they they bailed, which is okay. It happens. I haven't really been feeding people, so like, I deserve that. Tributes are ready from Zagon and Vrofel. Uh, all right, let me think about that. And a new town is being attacked by the Horde. So I will, because I am working on paper milling, paper making, uh, I will send messengers. I don't know where the messengers come from, given that I don't have any free workers. I guess I'll find out. Oh, and some people did not receive salary, so I'm going to need to start selling stuff to the Loving family in order to have more money to be able to sell. Also, uh, Geroid is here. He's like a king of, uh, you're a king of Treewood, I think? Yeah, the king of Treewood is here visiting, which is interesting. What happens is you get a lot of fanatics? You know, I don't really know. I'm just trying to no, not find out. Great confirms fears Kellyan. What? Oh, but you like Geroid. Oh, we to who tolerates bandits? Geroid? Oh yeah, he does. He has bandits in the forest. And bandits are like rampaging Great Mist as well, it looks like. Noob was in a noble's house? Yeah, yeah, we killed Noob. Noob was the heir to Great Mist here. And we murdered him. He was, uh, Nora's brother. Oh, now you're sublime, but glutton and coward? Wow, you're really just, uh... Is there an NPC called Guitar? Yeah, well, I raffled him off. Guitar is our bishop. Uh-oh! Gero and Kellyan actually went hunting together uh, for a wolf. Cool. I'm guessing that what happened here was Geroid decided to go wolf hunting with Kellyan, our king, as just a way of, of bonding. Uh, and luckily, it turned out well. I wasn't paying enough attention, uh, but yeah, it went well. Oh, the other thing is... Um, I don't have the money or the rings, but Geroid has only two holy rings. So he has a mood penalty of too few rings. Uh, you want to stay somewhere between 5 and 15. And uh, that would be a really good thing to offer up Geroid if I have the chance to buy rings. Because that will really help out our relationship. And I think we're uh, having a funeral for... Uh, noob today. Here's our peasant army getting trained up. Yep, that's training noises. There is Forest Bandits that is a new event somewhere as well. That was in the world summary. Oh, I think they're here? Yeah. Not in my territory. I don't really care. Let's start learning some new things. So, Barley, you learned Hopsfield and Beer. Let's have you learn Temple. And Grudge Bearer will have you learn. I'm actually not going to worry about Grudge Bearer's learning, as I don't think it's going to be particularly important. But here's a pig farm, uh, which turns rutabagas into meat. So I will put uh, the pig farm 
here next to the root rutabaga farm and meat can be reserved for your royals to eat to keep them happy because they like pork Yep, oh, here's noobs noobs funeral noob was the one that uh that that challenged urgo burgle to a duel urgo burgle is about half healed from that duel and we're gonna burn him Burn the noob. Bye-bye, noob. Torched. <laughs> Alright, Kellyn's a bit too moody right now to trade. What's going on with him? Urgurgle's sick. I think it's probably just like morning sickness, to be honest. Uh, but he's otherwise refusing to trade. So, Dave, you're next best. Could someone? Dave, where are you? You're too busy drinking to trade? Yeah, that sucks. Um, Urgle Burgle? Nope, you're asleep. Grudge Bearer? Thank you, Grudge. Appreciate it. So they have more books, uh, but Grudge doesn't have a particularly good trade skill, so... It might not be the right time. I also am struggling to pay bills, so I'm going to sell off some of the excess hops that we have that I'm not really using because we're not brewing quick enough and buy, um, just get gold for it. So that we can pay salaries and keep people happy. Tiny bit of bread. Some moonshine. So I'm going to start ramping down the moonshine. Because we're going to be using the rutabagas for pork soon instead. And people don't really like moonshine. It's an upsetting alcohol to drink. I do have a ton of iron. You're right. Um, next time they come around, I will trade off some iron. That would be a good idea. I overlooked that. It's because one of our tributes uh, gives us iron. So we just have a, a huge income of iron, which is great. Iron's really nice to have, especially when you're heading into a war, because you can turn iron into uh, steel using a melting place. What is it called? It has a weird name. Melting furnace. Um, when you have a melting furnace and then, you know, make armor and weapons out of, which is way cheaper than trying to buy them. And Barley, what's up your butt? Burgle sick? Yeah. So we had three more migrants, but they immediately were employed. Cool. We still have uh, this hop field not being properly managed, which is not ideal. And two homeless, but I do have one more peasant house being built. So uh, soon our homeless issues will be resolved entirely. Now, despite killing their heir, Great Mist really hasn't moved on me. It looks like they only have five warriors. So here's how to tell. Right now, they have, like, uh, at most, seven people that can fight. Treewood has, like, 12. Moon Lake has 14. Wind Peak has uh, 13. Right? Uh, 17. So, like, Great Mist is not in a particularly good position. Which means that if I am able to get my peasants uh, a little bit better trained, where they don't have a fear of death and they're ready to go, it wouldn't be a bad idea to to maybe invade them, Great Mist, and uh, and boss them around a little bit because you know they they declared the war, they messed with me. I I didn't I didn't start that fight. They did. So I am totally down to go to war if. If there's a, a time and a chance. I, I would like maybe more armor. So perhaps if the uh, the trade caravan comes back, I can sell some of the spare iron ingots that I have and buy some light armor for my uh, and shields for my warriors to use to give them a, a better chance to survive. 
Barley has hit 13 intellect, so I think it's time to treat, to, to, uh, give him some rhetoric training. Or maybe economical training. So I'm gonna have, uh, Urgobor will also teach that. Because Urgobor is, I think, the best teacher. Let me double check on that. 4, 14, 14. But, uh, Urgobor is a better trade and persuasion than grudge. 13, 13. So, yeah, we have a lot of really good teachers, which is awesome. I could shift more things over to Grudge. I'll keep an, an eye on the inspection queue. Um, I would really prefer to get the Chancellery up, but that, of course, is re relying on Urkel Burgle's ability to learn paper workshop. So, that comes in time when she's a little bit better. Oh, uh, here is the first criminal. So Mora here is a criminal. Um, just because she's a criminal doesn't mean she's committed any crimes yet. So in the top left, you can see that the criminal is one. I have one ordinary criminal. Zero cutthroats. Cutthroats are like drafted criminals uh, ready for a fight. Um, I can preemptively execute Mask of Shame, Exile, or blind them. But without them doing crimes first, that would cause terror, which would completely stop uh, peasants from immigrating to my kingdom. So it's actually best to just let them, you know, start a fight or whatever, and then deal with it. Oh. Kelly and... Okay, no, that's fine. Hating Dead Dodo. For a second, I thought it was Gearoid. And I was like, no, we want a good relationship with Gearoid. Which, for the most part, there is one. What is going on with you guys? I know you're cutting down trees, but you don't need to look like wood dryads. Ah, uh, you're all sick. Rutabaga fever. For me, and for too much rutabaga. Yeah, that's my fault. How are we doing on that front? Zero flower? What is our Millers doing? Oh, you haven't been managed today. Kellyan, come on, man. Why are you, like, you're... Oh, you went wolf hunting with Gearoid again. I mean, that's great and all, but, like, we're starving out here, dude. So I'm going to uh, do a priority on this mill so that he stops uh, managing other things and go to the mill. Which is weird, because it actually the inspection queue says that the mills have been inspected. Oh, and they're working now. So, I don't know about that. Big Shrug? Uh, Ergoborl got really drunk. You're really... I should not have trusted you with the paper workshop. I honestly should just, like, cancel her progress on it and have someone else study it. Because she's just not making any progress whatsoever. But how are we doing production-wise? Have I finally done Bread and Circus? We have a little bit of beer, but not a lot of flour yet. But we've produced uh, a lot of flour today. So now that the flour is being hauled to the warehouse, we should have a decent amount of flour in the markets soon. Meaning that we'll stop having rutabaga with fever and yeah, there we go. Flour, beer, coal. I'm gonna ramp the coal. No, I'll leave it at 30. So, that looks good. I think I've done that. So, now the current priority is... I'm going to have it actually up to you. What should I do next? Prepare for war with... What were they called? Great Mist? Um, improve relationship with Treewood. Help against the um, Undead Horde. I'm just going to call them the Undead Horde. 
they're on Holy Horde. They're not undead. Or uh, improve the kingdom. What do you think is most important? There's the poll. Grudge Bear is pregnant. And a child has been born. So this is uh, Kellyan and Urgelburgle's second kid, Sula. Raffle time for Sula. So Sula, uh, you are going to be taught philosophy by Urgle Burgle. And then Barley, you're going to be taught by someone else. So Grudge Bear has pretty good teaching. Uh, Grudge Bear will teach Barley some combat. That way... Um, we have Grudge Bear and Urgle Burgle teaching one kid each, rather than Urgle Burgle teaching two kids. So that Urgle Burgle can actually make some progress reading the damn book about paper. More Lord. How's it soon? So one, two, three, four, five, six, with one is pregnant seven, plus Geroid and Guitar. Eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have the right amount for now, but yeah, we're gonna probably want another one. The uh, the royal family is expanding pretty fast. Oh, Giroid's leaving though. Looks like, which honestly was pretty fruitful. He is leaving very happy, very loyal, and liking Kellyan quite a lot. And has a decent opinion of almost everybody else. So, that's good. And it looks like we're going to prepare for war. Copy that. Prepare for war with Great Mist. Uh, Coach Garen, thank you for the resub, by the way. Like 15 minutes ago, because I am so attentive. So, they only have seven warriors. So that's going to be pretty easy. Are my peasants ready? Uh, nearly? Yeah. They're looking ready. Their uh, combat skills are a bit higher. They're not moody. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop training so they don't get injured. And give it a day or two so the injuries that they currently have are cleared. And then hope to buy some equipment from um, a caravan. Because I'm not likely to be able to like manufacture equipment that quickly. If we're uh, gearing up for work quick. We also sold out on flour entirely. So another thing I might want to do is to... Uh, well, let's stop making moonshine altogether. I might need to have multiple millers. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Because I produced 43 flour yesterday. Uh, which feeds 43 people. And we have um, 58 or something like that. No, we have more than that. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus 44, 51, plus eight. It's like 60 people. So that means some people have to eat rutabaga, which is fine. Um, but we don't have any rutabaga at the moment because we haven't harvested it. So yeah, we're at a bit of a food shortage still. It might be a good idea to transfer one of these hop fields from hops over to more rye. Um... I'm going to, uh, after we harvest this hop field, I'm going to uh, plant rye there as well. Because we also brew with rye. So having uh, rye being grown next to the brewery will make sense. And that should help with um, 
beer and, and flour. How long did they stay a child for? I don't know. 16? 13? I really, I forget. Yeah, game's telling me that I need more temples if I want more peasants, because temple can only accommodate about 40 people, and our temples are currently full. So once I have even more wood, um, that might be something I, uh, I start to do. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of work facilities that are not getting their management orders, though. Like, Urgleburgle didn't manage to get out to the, uh, the, the lumber mill. Noob was 13. Yeah, I'm not sure if Noob was classified as a child or not, though. Okay, please make some progress on the books. For the love of God, please. Dust Valley offers help. Your ally, Nora, is not facing threats from neighbors unlike you. Wait, Nora? Oh, I think Dust Valley wants me to kill Nora. Yeah, I don't need your help with that. I'm going to do that myself. Hey, Madzy. Man, your name is popping up everywhere. Madzy, you are the youngest of us. Thank you for tuning in to Norland, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, a link to Discord can be found in the description of this video and on my website. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.